resolution fail because of what we call inadequate plan. Mm -hmm. You are not going to fail because no student failed exam because he didn't know. You failed because you didn't know enough. Mm -hmm. You've got 20%. It's failure. Mm -hmm. You've got some mark. You've got 38. He said you failed. You've got some mark. Except those who get zero. As for that one, there we live on that. <laughs> but majority who fail, they, it's not zero. They've got something, but you've not gotten enough. enough. So when you are planning, you need to have to call adequate plan. Okay. So most people resolution, there's nothing wrong with it. The only thing wrong is that it doesn't have a good plan. Okay. Mm. You plan, mm -hmm. then you program. Okay. You must program your plan. Mm -hmm. A plan that has not been programmed is inadequate. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Because it's inside the program is where you're going to have to call uh, uh, stimulation scenarios. Okay. What that means is that what will you do if this and that happen? happens? Exactly. Because you're going to face roadblocks. It is uh, an erroneous thinking to believe that you're not going to face challenges. That's no, no, no. Every project you are embarking on, there are roadblocks. Yeah. There are going to be challenges. There are going to be difficulties. So okay. you must envisage some of these challenges ahead of time. What is possible, possibly going to go wrong with this project? Okay. Identify them. After identifying them, prescribe solution, possible solutions. This is why we say that the solution is older than the problem. Because by the time the problem is arriving, there are solutions already there. I have seen this coming. Mm -hmm. I, I saw this coming already. So I'm prepared for it. But if you didn't prepare for it, it hits you like that. Mm -hmm. You become shocked. So most people whose last year resolution did not happen is because this one major reason why. They never have stimulation scenarios where they have plan B, yeah. plan C. What, what could I have done mm -hmm. if this happened? See, don't change the plan, mm -hmm. but you can change the route. Exactly. Don't change the goal, but you can change the goalpost. Mm -hmm. The plan is to get to GBC. Mm -hmm. Don't change it. Yeah. You can change the route. Yeah, indeed. You understand that one? If this road is blocked, find another one here. Yeah. Find another one here. So people, one of the things they have to do this year is to have stimulation scenarios. Mm -hmm. Please never embark on any journey any project without stimulation scenario mm. what is could possibly go wrong with your problem with your with your issue with your project you know the bible says that uh, which of you want to build a house mm. you don't sit down first you come the cost counting the cost means that you are analyzing dangers predicament shortcoming misfortunes and every possible thing before you start you don't just start because you have faith mm. you have you have passion you have energy the plan is looking good, though, but within it, there are hurdles. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So all of this has to do with the attitude you're yeah. bringing into 2024. So we just need clarification as to what exactly would you say is the right attitude? What is wrong attitude and what is right attitude right here? You see, your attitude is your window into the world, how you see the world. Yeah. How you see situation, your viewpoint. I keep telling people that your point of view is always as a result of your, your viewpoint. Mm -hmm. Viewpoint and point of view are two different things. Your point of view is affected by your viewpoint. viewpoint. What that means is that if I have a blue uh, slate on my face, yeah. I'll see the world as what? Blue. blue. Yeah. If I have a yellow, I'll see the world as what? Yellow. Mm -hmm. So your attitude is how you view situations. Mm -hmm. The same thing happening to you, which is giving you a detour, is the same thing happening to somebody that's giving the person a determination. Mm -hmm. The same thing that happened to you that stopped you. The reason why you couldn't make it was the same reason why somebody made it. You came from a background where nobody was there for you. So you said, well, that's why you failed. Somebody also said, because nobody was there for me, I'm going to make it. Yeah. A man is saying that because of my children, that's why I am, I am failing. And that one is saying that because of my children, I don't have to fail. Not at all. Are, are you understand that? Yeah. This is an attitude. So it's how you see, how you perceive, how you see situations. So that one is within you. Mm. If you don't have the right attitude, like today, okay, like what you saw, yeah. we call that resilience, exactly. mental toughness. Exactly. You are mentally tough, mm. that you are determined that no matter what, yeah. no matter who, no matter where, I am tougher than the toughest situation. That is the only way you can go. If you don't have mental toughness, you'll be depressed. Mm. You'll be attacked. Mm. You'll be stopped. Mm. You'll be caged. You'll be stuck. Most people who are stuck today is because they don't have this attitude of mental toughness. Okay. Nobody sees it too. 
but you see it in how I respond. Exactly. Exactly. I don't know how tough you are yeah. until I see how you are going to respond to that situation. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Do, do, do you understand sure. that? You can I can see you calm, but it's your response. So how we respond to life challenges, how we respond to life issues is a pointer to the kind of attitudes we have. For example, how I respond to somebody's mistake is an attitude. Mm. Okay. Another person look at somebody's mistake, respond to it positively, brings encouragement, bring hope, bring fulfillment. Another person look at somebody's mistake and it's laughing, it's mm. criticizing, judging. It's, it's judging, it's condemning, wrong attitude. Exactly. Mm. Another person comes to work, always talking about what? Traffic, that's why he's late. Another person knows because of the traffic, I got to get up early. Yeah. Yeah. And move so he doesn't come with excuses yeah. people who are always giving excuse 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 check carefully they have an attitude mm. a wrong attitude which i don't want to name because it will look too direct mm. so the kind of attitude people should have when it's an attitude is how you perceive the world okay. your window into the world yeah. that is your attitude yeah. how you see situation yeah. how you see event what is happening to you how are you going to interpret it do you know that it is your interpretation of life event mm -hmm. that determines how you feel about it? Exactly. I'll say it again. Our interpretation of life event yeah. is what is going to determine how we feel about That's it. Yeah. And how we feel about life situation determines whether you're going to have the right energy, you're going to have the right drive yeah. or not. But if you don't interpret what is happening to you rightly, it's going to affect you. Mm. Or connected to what? Attitude. Attitude. Interesting. Attitude. But then I know definitely, you know, sometimes we say, we tell ourselves that, okay, this is what I want to do this year. But then our environment and the people we are surrounded by as well sometimes can become a reason why <laughs> we also start drawing back or either a rather motivate us to push forward. So what do you have to say about how we should handle our environment when it comes to uh, our New Year resolutions and our right attitudes beginning the year? You see, if you mention about environment, environment first starts within you. Yeah. You are your first environment. Mm -hmm. Your first environment is your mental environment. Okay. Which people nobody talks about. I don't know whether you, you have heard that before. Yeah. Your first, yeah. where you, do you know where, where you live? Mm. Should I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. Where are you? Where am I? Yes. My mind. <laughs> you are not where you are. Mm. You are where your mind is. Okay. Anybody watching me now, if I ask you, where are you? You can be in your room, but you are in, you, you are in Tema. Mm. You can be in your room, but you are in your village. I am here. But until my mind is here, I am not here. So your first environment where you live is your mind. So your mind is the man. Okay. If you are not thinking right, you can't live right. Okay. If you are not seeing right, you can't move right. So the first environment is the, your mental environment. That's why your mentality becomes your actuality. Okay. So everybody must be careful of your mental environment. Okay. Because you are not where you are sitting. Mm. You are where your mind is. Exactly. Your life goes the direction of your dominant thought. Okay. So this year... Everybody's first environment is where the mind is. Mm -hmm. Whoever you are, I don't care wherever you are, where your mind go, you go. Mm -hmm. Where your mind lives, that's where you live. Exactly. You can be in trouble, but you are not there. Are you aware of that? Exactly. Yeah. We say you are absent minded. Yes. Absent minded because you are there physically, but mentally you are absent. Yeah, exactly. And anytime you are mentally absent, Anytime you are mentally absent, you lose consciousness of your of your immediate physical environment. Mm. Mm. True. Mm. I'll say it again. Anytime anybody is mentally absent, you lose consciousness of your physical environment. Yeah. And once you are unconscious of your physical environment, you can't be productive there. Yeah. So you can be absent here. We are talking. You don't even know what we are talking about. Yeah, exactly. yeah, 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 yeah. You say what? So a lot of people, because mentally they are absent in their own life, exactly. they cannot make impact in their own life. Okay. So our first environment is our mental environment. Okay. Feed on good things. Mm. Read, study, educate, expose yourself. I spoke to somebody yesterday. He said, this year, the year I've started, I leave my house more, more time because my physical environment is not helping me think well. So okay. the person leaves his physical environment, mm -hmm. go to another environment where you see things that inspire you. Mm -hmm. You see things that motivate you. You see things that enlighten you. So people must be careful of your, their mentality. Mm -hmm. This year, if you can change how you, your mental environment, you can't change your physical environment. Wow, well, yeah. yeah. Okay, so, um, Apostle, 
you, you have I answered the, the, the yeah, question? Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. for the people surrounding us to yes. the negativity, yeah. some yeah. some people can bring negativity yeah. to you. Yes. Sometimes you'd say, this is what I want to do, but then the person is going to talk so much that it's going to convince you that maybe I can actually come. No, so that's where it's a choice. You make yeah. your decision. Mm. You see, you are your first CEO of your life. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You determine who you hire, who mm. you fire. Mm -hmm. You must be able to hire and fire. Mm. You must be able to bring people in and then out. Yeah. Nobody should rent a space in your in your heart and if you are not paying rent. Mm. Paying rent means that you are useful. We call a law called the law of compartmentalization. Mm. That law says that there is a place for everybody in your life. Yeah. When you place people wrongly in your life, things are going to go wrong in exactly. your life. So you must look at people and see which compartment do you place them. Mm -hmm. Then you decide. Mm -hmm. Love is compulsory, but association is a choice. Exactly. So you can't be any better than people associating around you. Mm -hmm. And you must make the right. You see, you can't change the people around you, but you can change the people in your life. Exactly, exactly. Okay. All right. So, uh, about, uh, you've, I, I have really learned a lot, and I would like to even share a testimony before yeah. I ask okay. this question. Yeah. So, you spoke about the fact that just the last statement yeah. that you cannot change the people around you, you, but you can change the people in your life. Yeah. You no, know, sometimes, even for me personally, you know, um, just this year, yeah. mm -hmm. I noticed that there were some particular people in my life mm -hmm. that were were giving me, as you stated, we have people that we, we, we think they are like the problem. Yeah. But like, when you look at these individuals, they add more pain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's like, they, they, they bring you back from trying to back. grow. Yeah. So instead of they being in your life, because they've been in your life for like years, like, no, pack somewhere. I'm not going to stop talking to you or maybe, but the association will not be like how yeah. it used to be before. So I would like to say a very big thank you because I believe viewers out there, somebody might be going through the same problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And just by your submission or explanation, that person will be taking up a step. Yeah. yeah. So Apostle, um, bad attitude. Let's yeah. move to bad attitude. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of attitudes that one would describe as a bad attitude. Yeah. But to you, what exactly Mm -hmm. It's a bad attitude. Okay. Yeah. You see, your attitude has a voice. They say action speaks louder than words. Yeah. What means is that your attitude, number one, your attitude can amplify you, can magnify you, exactly. can expose you, can market you, and can advertise you. Mm. Your attitude. Yeah. So if it's bad, it's marketing you badly. Okay. If it's good, it's marketing you. In the right way exactly your attitude can be your trumpeter that is trumpeting either how good you are yeah. or how bad you are mm -hmm. the, f the picture of your future is actually taken with the camera of your character and your attitude the, the picture, picture of your is future is, is taken by, by the, the camera, camera of, of your, your attitude, attitude and your character mm -hmm. because <laughs> a good character amplifies your good virtues exactly. a bad character also diminishes you it depreciates you. You depreciate with bad attitude. Let me say this to you. If you if you become a bad memory anywhere, it's because when you were there, you were a bad nut. You had a bad attitude. That's why you became a bad memory. Because a time is coming, you become a memory. Exactly. There are people who were part of your 2023. Mm. Believe you me, they're never going to be part of your 2024. When yeah. you recall yes. their name, they are just memories. Yes. But what memories? Some people's name evoke good feelings. Yeah. Others, their name, it evoke bad feelings. Yeah. Because of bad attitude. Yeah. Bad attitudes is just like a flat tire under a car. Mm. Until you change it, you are going nowhere. Mm. So a bad attitude is just like, uh, how do I put it? It's just like a uh, uh, smoke mm -hmm. into an environment that chokes you, mm -hmm. that suffocates, that shrinks, wow. that reduces. It draws back. It doesn't propel. It doesn't accelerate. Mm -hmm. A bad attitude is like a load. It's like a weight. Mm -hmm. It weighs you down. Mm -hmm. it, it stops you from moving forward. People, let me say this. People who have bad attitude know they have bad attitude. Yeah. They just don't want to admit it. Yes. If you are rude, you know you are rude. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you are careless, you know you are careless. But you know, some lazy. people take pride in some of these yes. bad It's attitudes. arrogance. Yes, true, true. You see, you see, when arrogance and ignorance meet, that's when stupidity is born. Mm. Stupidity is a product of arrogance and ignorance. Okay. Some people are so arrogant and they are at the same time ignorant. Mm -hmm. And they combine it. They become so stupid in life. Forgive me for my words. But stupidity doesn't make anybody grow anywhere mm. 
So this year, one of the simplest bad attitudes people have to let go is laziness. Mm. Don't be lazy. Mm -hmm. That's all. It's a bad attitude. Mm -hmm. what, is, what is laziness? Yeah. You are resting when there's work to be done. Mm -hmm. You've closed when it's not yet time. Yeah. You are full of excuses. Yeah. You are lazy. Yeah. Anybody full of excuses is lazy. Yeah. Always excuse. Always excuse. You see, excuses will always exclude you out of the race of life. Yeah. Most definitely. Yeah, it would always ex it will always exclude you. I think I saw something one time where it says your excuses just gave someone else another opportunity. Of course, of course. Mm -hmm. Once you are excusing yourself, mm. you'll be excluded yeah. from the race of life. So laziness is a bad attitude that most people should actually be thinking. Mm. In fact, let me mention another thing. Okay. One 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 simplest bad attitude, complaining. Okay. Can I say this to you? Yes, sir. No complainer has faith. Mm. No complainer has hope. No complainer has passion. No complainer has enthusiasm. Complaint kills passion. Complaint kills hope. Mm. Complaints yeah, kill faith. Can I say this to you? Yes. People around you who are always complaining are draining your energy. Yeah. By the time you are leaving the environment of a complainer, you are so drained. Mm. You are so stressed. Mm. You are full of hopelessness. Because complainers never see good in anything. They don't even see the rise of anything. They are always in the bad side. Mm. Always complaining about their boss, about their country. See, complainers never change anything, never make innovation, never. They are not. They are not adaptable. They, they cannot adapt. They cannot adopt. They cannot adjust. Mm -hmm. They cannot improve. They just complain. So, complain is an emotional toxic. Yeah. It's a mental drainer. Yeah. So, complaining is a bad attitude. Look at the, the Ghanaian community. We complain, oh. Daniels, <laughs> we can complain. We yeah, complain we about do. everything. Complain, exactly. complain, complain everywhere. Me, believe you me, there are some places I don't go. Complain the environment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because it will drain your energy. Yeah. Yes. So this year, don't complain. Because the more you complain about the situation, the more it's living on. Mm -hmm. Do you know that problems grow? Mm -hmm. There are five things that feed your problem to grow. One Let's is see. complain. Yeah. Anytime you are complaining about the problem, it, it is growing. Preaching. Oh yeah, problems grow. Yeah. Problems are living things. Yeah. If you don't solve it now, it keeps growing. Mm. That later issue, you are ignoring it. You keep complaining about it. It's growing. Mm. It's growing. It's growing. And they become what? Cancerous yeah. or chronic. Mm -hmm. That's why I say this one is a chronic one. Mm -hmm. it, it has reached the final stage. Worst just like the scenario. Worst, worst case scenario. Mm. Because it started small. They didn't detect it early. Yeah. Like breast cancer or most of those stuff. There are cervical issues. If it's detected early, administer treatment early you can stop but sometimes it's there and it's growing and it's growing so complain actually empowers your problem it keeps it to grow yeah. mm -hmm. it empowers it yeah. so complainers are never good team players they all. disintegrate team they weaken leadership mm. if you are a leader you have followers who always complain about you Oh, you can't have faith. You can't have hope. In fact, anybody complaining around you will make you feel as if you are, you are a worse leader. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. complaining is a bad attitude people have to annihilate out of their life this year. Don't complain about your wife. The more you complain about that, the more you enforce that issue you are complaining about. Yeah, true. The more you complain about the, that your, your, your keys, the more the, you are reinforcing it. Yeah, so true. stop complaining because complaint never makes you grow. Do you know that complaint is the beginning of criticism? Exactly. So the second, third bad attitude to criticism. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are always criticizing, criticizing, criticizing. Some people they are good at that, they and they call it bad. constructive. Can I say this to you? Most people don't even understand the principle of constructive criticism. Mm -hmm. They are not constructive; they are destructive. Most constructive criticism that we claim we give, see. A constructive criticism should come with encouragement. Exactly. Should come with enthusiasm. Should come with passion. By the time you criticize me constructively, I should become a critical thinker to innovate, to improve, to become better. But if your constructive criticism weakens my energy, sucks my drive, it's not constructive, it's destructive. Most people who give constructive criticism, it's not, it's destructive because we don't understand how to do it. That's why immediately you start giving me constructive criticism, I go into a defensive mood. Mm. And I will not listen to you. That's why the people we criticize, they don't change. Mm. 
Interesting. You know, this topic is so, I feel like there's so much more we give, can discuss when it comes to the right attitude we can use in 2024, but since our time is limited, but uh, definitely we're going to have more conversations with Apostle concerning this. We'll have the continuation yeah. of this conversation next week. So yes, we need to know more about the right attitude for 2024. But Apostle, before we wrap it all up, what would you have to say to the viewers out there as we're starting this year? You see, at the beginning of your starting point must be energy and strength. So do everything possible that nothing will sit on your joy. Mm -hmm. Nothing should sit on your hope. Okay. Nothing, you see, hope is optimism. Yeah. Hope is faith. Hope is courage. So at the beginning, at the base mm -hmm. of whatever you are starting must be energy. Yeah. This year is starting. Don't sit down. Don't be depressed. Mm -hmm. Don't be discouraged. Stop seeing life on the negative side, from the left side. Mm -hmm. Be optimistic. Be hopeful because you see, hope is a stimulant, hope is a preservative. So, at the beginning of this year, please and please, I don't know what you are going through, mm -hmm. I don't know what you are facing, I don't know the, 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 the issues that are bombarding you. But please, in a race, you, you know, in a relay race, I'll end it this you need the, a strong beginner mm -hmm. and then a strong person to end. A real is yeah. the one to start it, the one to, to end it. If your beginning is bad, it's going to affect you. Mm. Can you imagine you are starting the race? They say on your mask, get set, and then you miss it at the beginning. You can be disqualified. Yeah. So in a real race, the one who begins it must be fast, mm. swift, technical, and then the one who ends must be more swifter. So the beginning of this year is so critical that don't take chances don't start the year with anxiety mm. with depression with uh, hopelessness with pressure with stress mm. find something to inspire yourself find something to encourage yourself then you can start better Okay. Right thank attitude. you so much apostle that's quite inspiring yeah. and i know a lot of yeah. people out there have also been inspired yeah. by what apostle has yeah, to say but apostle great. in case anyone wants to reach out to you well i'm more active on facebook okay. you can reach me more if you go there there's a number there you can always reach me and then okay. my office and then they can reach me. So Facebook, Apostle Tiflos Jeffries. Mm -hmm. But any other social media handles, Apostle Tiflos Jeffries, you can always find me yeah. there. Thank okay. you very much. All socials, Apostle Tiflos Jeffries. Okay. Yeah, so yes, so uh, we've had Apostle Tiflos Jeffries in the studios with us. We're talking about how we can start the year with the right attitude. And I hope you've been able to pick one or two things so we can start our year with yeah, the right attitude. But then, of course, at this point, we're wrapping up the Healthy Morning Show. We'll come on your screens next week again with more information happening right here in Ghana. My name is Abigail Rabai Idumensa and I did this with Savara Aiden. See you next week for more innovative and also more informative morning show.